As the weather warms up even more, watch out for giant jellyfish. They're now being spotted on the north and south shores. The lion's mane jellyfish swim in huge numbers. WBZ's Bill Shield shows us why swimmers may want to steer clear. They're cold water creatures, and lion's mane jellyfish can get huge. The bigger specimens are, have been recorded at like eight, eight feet wide and over 100 feet long, and, and those are the ones you typically find. In, in the colder temperatures. It's not unusual to find them in New England waters, but this year, they're everywhere. A swimmer was stung last weekend here in Hingham Harbor. They're voracious predators. Um, they eat a lot of zooplankton, they eat larval fish. Um, and when you put a high concentration of those animals in the water, you know, they could certainly be a competitor with right whales. The lion's mane has hundreds of long tentacles and can deliver a powerful sting. People normally experience like a, a, a real burning sensation or like a, like a sting, like a, like a bee sting. They've been washing up on our shores lately, and even on sand, the tentacles are active. I have a hard time thinking it's a, a serious threat to human health, but it's certainly uncomfortable. The trick is you, you may not even see them from the surface. They, they could be deep or, you know, they, they could be several feet away from you. But because of the length of those tentacles, there's always a danger that you're going to come into contact with it. For those of us who enjoy swimming in the ocean, it's just something else to watch out for. I wonder when the great whites arrive on the Cape. I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News. And there have been some sightings. We got the sharks, right? the jellyfish. The jellyfish are so cool looking. It's too bad they're so awful, unpleasant. <laughs>